So what's better, a gas-ported piston or a gas-ported piston ring? Or maybe no gas ports at all. Hi, I'm Lake Speed Jr., Total Seal Piston Rings, and we're here at the dyno at Shaver Specialty Racing Engines to find out answers to all those questions. Let's get started. The first step is to establish the baseline. Since this engine's already been configured with a non-gas-ported ring and a gas-ported piston, that's where we'll begin. From there, we'll install a non-gas-ported piston and install a gas-ported piston ring. That will allow us to compare any performance differential between the location of the gas ports. Essentially, what works better, a gas-ported piston or a gas-ported ring? After that, we'll use a non-gas-ported ring in that non-gas-ported piston in order to see the differential between having gas ports and not having gas ports. Between each configuration, we will disassemble the engine, rehome the engine, reassemble it, break it back in using the same oil, the same fuel, same speed, same load, same everything. That way we're not introducing any extra variables into the results. Speaking of results, let's see what we found. As the data clearly shows, the gas-ported piston ring stabilizes the ring, which reduces blow-by, thereby increasing horsepower. Without gas ports, the ring destabilizes at high RPM due to inertia on the ring and the drop in cylinder pressure. In contrast, the gas-ported ring allows the remaining gas pressure to still activate and work holding the ring in place in the ring land and sealing it against the cylinder wall, which leads to less blow-by, which results in more horsepower. That's why the gas-ported piston ring is the next evolution in ring seal technology. To learn more about gas ported piston rings, make sure to visit our website, totalseal.com, or feel free to call our tech line, 623-587-7400, and speak with one of our technical experts. Thanks for watching.